At the beginning, I was against the idea of this DVD. I always thought that Truma Dog's eyes speak for itself, and there was nothing more to add. The truth is another one. I was unconsciously trying to fight against the new rules of this music market, where if you don't propose to the public a super cool packaging, and you don't fill your album with tons of bonus, people are, are not going to buy your CD. Well, I was a fool because the situation is this and it's better to accept it as soon as possible to not be cut out. So here I am and I'm actually quite happy to, to take this occasion to talk about you, about this 11 year of activity of If I'll Do It. I have um, a lot of stories to, to tell you and I really hope you will enjoy them. I've noticed that there's a lot of confusion, at least in the web, regarding the history of the band. So it's better to make some order. The band start in 98 as a duo. Me a guitar and Giuliano Mogicato a guitar, voice, synth and programming. At the time we were using a drum machine. In the same year we did our demo tape, Opera, and after a few months we signed a deal with a newborn label at the time, Code 666 from Italy. After a year and a half, we did our first album, Formula. Directly after the recording session, Giuliano Mogicato left the band and I remained alone. That was a really important moment for the band because the first period died and a new one born. In fact, I decided to enlarge the lineup to permit to the band to play live. After a few months, uh, we signed a deal with the Rake Records for four albums. The first step of this collaboration has been uh, uh, reprinting the first album formula in a new one, Reformula, with the addition of uh, two remixes and three songs from our demo tape opera. In the meantime, the new lineup was done. Luciano Lorusso at Screams, Davide Tolomei at Clean Voice, Fabio Fecchio at bass and Davide Piovesan at drums. With that lineup in 2001, we record The Painter's Palette. Right after the recording session, uh, Davide Tolomei, the clean vocalist, left the band and we didn't substitute him. We continued as a quartet. With the same lineup in 2005, we record Pain Necessary to Know. Again, another lineup change right after the recording session. Uh, drummer Davide Piovesan left the band. Uh, we substitute him with two different guys to support the album. The first one is Sergio Ponti, and after him arrived uh, Andrea Rabuini. In 2007, Eric proposed us to do a remix album of Pain Necessary to Know. We accepted. The result, Pain Remixes the Known, is a sort of mixture between dub and noise and has been done by Eraldo Bernocchi with his assistant uh, Lorenzo Esposito Fornasari. In that period, Fabio Fecchio, the bass player, left the band and once again we decided to not substitute a member that was leaving us. So we continued as a trio, just guitar, voice and drums. We did the three European tour as a three-piece band, one with Sergio Ponti at drums, and two with Andrea Labuini that eventually rejoined the band. In 2008, we record our last album, True Madhouse Eyes, with a very special guest at drums, Marco Minema. One of the first things that is clear after listening our history is the high number of lineup change that we have so far. Um, this is caused by various different reasons. Probably the main one is that I'm quite demanding 
people, but at the same time are not able to offer them any kind of economical security. Because if we'll do it, can permit us to survive. So basically, people left the band for stress or because they are uh, forced to keep a full-time job, usually is a music teacher. And when one have a full-time job, can't proper yards, can tour, and I'm, I'm forced to fire them. Every member that have been part of this band has, has been really important for the band itself and for my, for my personal growth as a musician. I will say that three person in particular has been very important for me. Uh, Giuliano Mugicato that concretely teach me how to play guitar. Fabio Fecchio that teach me how to do good arrangement on songs. And Davide Piovesan that show me how to fuse uh, extreme music with different kind of jam. Our will to experiment brought us to touch a very different kind of genre. But there's something important to underline. The fact that I never considered this band a crossover one. I always try to compose albums that are an entity with a precise personality and not a mix of different kinds of music. I change as person, and given that if I do it is the best way I found to express myself, artistically speaking, this band changed with me. This is due my various different listening over the time, and due to a stubborn attitude that bring me to think about every album we do as a precise entity, and not like an evolution of the one before. Sometimes we do real jump from an album to another one. And I would say that two of them have been particularly important. The one between Formula and the Printer's Palette, and the one between Pain Necessary to Know, and the last one, True Mad of Zides. The Printer's Palette is one of the most important albums of our career. Probably is the one that people like the most so far. In that period, I was really interested in the freedom of jazz. And that was also the period where I decided to enlarge the lineup. To create something homogeneous and not just a parody of my vision of jazz, I've asked the new members to play heavy, but not in a metal way, but in a jazz one. The result, after hours and hours in the rehearsal room, we had to play four, five days every week for five hours, is an album of extremely high vitality and so different color that I've decided to create a concept around. Pain Necessary to Know has been a very difficult album to create. The dark mood of lyrics and music were quite difficult to, to deal with for a lot of hours every day in the Riars room. On top of this, I decided to create an album that was really oblique, uh, songs that were no song, parts that were never repeating, songs like Long Sweet. If the idea was clear in my mind, I have to admit that it was not the same for the rest of the band, especially for drummer uh, Davide Piovesan. After eight or nine months of composition, I had the chance to talk with him about these problems, and he put a lot of question marks about his future with the band. One day he told me, I follow you because you are a good guy and a good musician, but especially because you deserve to exorcise the demons that you are trying to put in this album. In any case, I 
I don't understand this new direction. It's too fragmented for me. After a lot of strength, we were finally able to finish the album. And it came out exactly like it was in my mind. I'm really proud of it. It's a dark, difficult and fractured album. It's like that period of time of my life in 2005. start to compose it. Well, from that period to today, I will say that I restart from zero five times and I jam with four different lineup to go that were already dead. What remains is just the need to do this album for me and Lucio, Lorusso George. And the only way to finalize this was to work with a professional. So we called Marco Minema. We asked him to play as rock as possible. We technically say, play like a John Bonham more technical. He sent me back his files. We rearranged the whole thing once again. That was the third year of working. And finally we choose nine on 11 songs of the road and the album is out. There's a strong parallel between the new musical direction of Evil Duet and the concept around the dog that we choose. Both parts are naked. With this album we didn't try to uh, hide behind complicated structure and difficult arrangement that in some way make us famous. Uh, in this album we just focus on the core of some genre that we touch in past, focusing on a sort of rock blues direction that was present in some reef of the painter's palette and pain necessary to know. Dog is one of the animals that, to me, better express his feeling through his eyes. For some reason, dogs can be even more human than man himself in terms of sharing emotion. A dog is naked in front of his feeling, thus is not able to hide them. Men have filters of hundreds of years of evolution, and sometimes to catch a person feeling, you need to dig in his own or her personality. With dogs, this is not necessary. You just need to look in their eyes and it's quite easy to grasp what's going on. The eight lyrics of the album are connected with eight short stories I wrote under the common name of True Madog's Eyes. Every word appears like a spot to summarize the meaning of each short story in the compressed space of a song. More in particular, gift 
the opening truck. The dog goes out to find his way to bring back to the owner a present. The gift, in this case a cat, is offered to the demanding owner just to please him. The dog wants him to be proud. With promenade, the French translation of the English walk, we touch a delicate issue. The fact to be able to grasp the little joy that life offers us every day. The dog at the park asks the owner if he's able to be happy like him just for the fact to run away. Breathe. The dog attacking another dog realize to act following the ancient rules of his breed. His acting following his ani animality. And this is representing the song like a nail in the skull of the animal that tell him to attack the jugular of the adversary. Salendor. In this song, we talk about the fear to be abandoned. The dog is alone at home and uh, is waiting the return of the owner in front of the door with terror because he's sure that he will never return back. Bella Morte. Another human issue transport in the dog's vision. The dog is getting old and he realizes that he's remaining alive just to please the owner and to protect him from the pain caused by his death. Nina. The dogs during the last walk of the day with the owner uh, start to know a prostitute that work in the park in front of the house. They become friends and she starts to bring him little present. Then she will disappear. Guardian. This is probably one of the most touching songs of the whole album and the lyrics are a sort of manifesto. The dogs say that he will, he will be able to give his life to protect his master and his territory. Spider-shaped leaves. This is an oniric song. The noise created by the dried leaves in the garden path are entering in the dream of the animal like evil spider. Bar cloud. This is an instrumental song where we have been lucky enough to have the contribution of Ben from Dillinger Escape Plan and Electronics. I think it's quite difficult to be an Ifa Duat fan. You need to be quite patient, and most of the people are not. Nowadays, part of the metal rock public uh, need confirmation from the band they like. And part of them consider change of direction from the band, like betrays. This affects bands like Ifa Duat, because to change skin is vital for us. I really hope people will give a chance to this new album. I really hope they will not stop at the first impression saying something like, oh, it's much more simple than the previous one. Well, yes, it's much more simple than the previous one, and it has been a hell to do it like that. It's not so difficult, at least for me, to compose crazy music. What is really difficult is to compose good songs that remain good, even if you listen rock, metal, or pop. If you are an Ifa Duat fan, you need to consider every album we do as a chapter of the same book. But this book is not a novel, it's a collection of stories written by the same author, in this case me.
I hope the future will be much more simple for this band. Uh, the last couple of years have been quite difficult and frankly is enough. Uh, soon I will form a new live band and I will promote the new album as much as possible. I'm not thinking about the next step yet, but I'm also sure that I will start to compose quite soon. If I had to make a wish, I would say that the last period, the last composition phase of True Man of the Eyes has been particularly difficult, being alone and jamming by myself, recording one guitar and then doing the second one on it. Well, I hope that for the future, I will have the chance to jam with a real band. If not, I will continue alone because this is my life. This is the only thing I, I'm able to do. And uh, if I do, I deserve it. Thanks a lot for the attention. Thanks a lot for buying the CD and see you on the road.